I once came across a ScrewTube video, that's right, I'm calling YouTube ScrewTube, from a lawyer who seems to hate fan art. For those who don't know, fan art is art produced by people who are fans. For example, if you're a fan of Star Trek, you might produce art related to Star Trek. You might draw pictures of Star Trek characters, or pictures of Star Trek spaceships, or other Star Trek things. Anyway, in the video in question, the lawyer constantly expresses the idea that all fan art violates copyright. Even if the fan art is done on a non-profit basis, even if the fan art is fair use, all fan art violates copyright. Throughout the entire video, he constantly repeats his apparent opposition to fan art on the basis that it violates copyright. Though he mentions that most copyright holders choose not to sue fan art producers, he still emphasizes how fan art violates copyright. I'm not going to name this person nor point out where to find his channel, because I don't want this hater getting any extra views. So now I ask, why did he make this video? I guess from his perspective, he's doing the right thing. He's simply warning artists not to do fan art. Or perhaps he hates artists. Maybe he's one of those people who believes that artists don't make any viable contributions. Of course, I probably don't know the true reason why he made that anti-fan art video, but I can say I don't appreciate the sentiment behind the video. Though I hate this lawyer's anti-fan art attitude, I'm going to assume he's correct when he says that all fan art violates copyright. And on a related note, I noticed that a certain fraternity would put copyrighted characters in their flyers when I was in college. Thus, I did the same sort of thing to promote the school newspaper's science section. Then the editor-in-chief of the school newspaper said I could get in trouble for putting copyrighted characters in my flyers. I then told him about how that fraternity does it, yet they don't get in trouble. If I remember correctly, the editor suggested I go to the campus legal clinic to ask about that. And when I asked the legal clinic about that, they said that using other people's copyright material is legal as long as it's nonprofit. Since the fraternity is associated with the university, and since the university is a nonprofit organization, in principle anyway, then it's legal. That was in the late 1980s. Either copyright laws have changed since then, or that legal clinic was wrong. So again, I have to repeat what that ScrewTube lawyer said and say that all fan art violates copyright. But fan art will continue despite its violation of copyright. Only a small number of fan art producers will be sued for their fan art. One reason for this is that fan art constitutes free publicity. But I believe the main reason why so few fan artists are sued is because it's impractical. Consider this. The number of people who produce fan art every year is probably in the millions. If there are 50 million pieces of fan art created annually worldwide, copyright holders would have to spend most of their time suing these millions of people. If Disney decided their primary goal should be to sue each and every person on Earth who produces fan art of their products, then Disney won't be able to do much of anything else. They won't have time to produce TV shows, movies, comics, or anything else they produce. Their revenue would go down dramatically, and they would go out of business. Therefore, it's more affordable not to sue most fan artists. I'm of the mind that those who produce fan art on a nonprofit basis should be left alone, but those who produce fan art for profit without the permission of the copyright holder and without paying the copyright holder royalties should be sued. After all, that's part of the reason why there are copyright laws. But that ScrewTube lawyer is still going to say that all fan artists deserve to get sued. You produce fan art, you're evil, you're a piece of frack, and you should suffer. This is just another one of many reasons why I want to live in a resource-based economy. Because in an RBE, copyright laws would be rendered obsolete. Why? Because money doesn't exist in an RBE. Since copyright laws exist to protect a copyright holder's ability to make money with their intellectual property, then this sort of protection is unnecessary in a post-monetary economy. And if you're a fan artist and you want to produce fan art with a guarantee that you won't get sued, then you need to advocate a resource-based economy. Peace, the science out.